Welcome to this intermediate full body vinyasa class. Take this time to go inwards, connect movement with breath, and let go of all that no longer serves you. You should also feel physical benefits as we'll be stretching and strengthening the entire body. This practice is best suited for those at an intermediate level and there are no props required. Let's begin in Sukhasana. Sit up tall with your legs crossed if that's comfortable or if you'd rather sit on your knees that's also fine. Rest your hands in your lap and close your eyes. Take a moment to settle the mind and arrive on your mat. Let's start with a cleansing breath. Exhale wherever you are. Inhale deeply through your nose. Open your mouth and sigh it all out. Now place your hands on your knees. You can keep your eyes closed if that helps you to go inward, or feel free to blink them open if you'd prefer. We're going to find a circular version of seated cat-cow. So on an inhale, arch your back and look up. Exhale, circle your body around as you round your back, draw your chin to your chest. Inhale, continue moving around in the same direction as you arch your back. Exhale as you round. Continue this movement for a few more breaths. And now reverse the direction. Return to center. Sit up tall, take a deep inhale through your nose, and then exhale as you fold forward Walk your hands out in front of you until you can feel a gentle stretch. On your next inhale, slowly rise back up. If you're in Sukhasana, switch the cross of your legs. Inhale, grow taller. Exhale, fold forward. Slowly walk your hands back in as you rise back up to seated. Inhale, reach up tall, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Make your way to tabletop in the center of your mat. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Keep this engaged and active. As you inhale and extend your right leg behind you. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Knee is over the ankle. You can adjust and slide your left knee back slightly if needed. And then inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Shoulders are down away from your ears. Neck is relaxed, let your hips be heavy. On your next exhale, plant your hands down and step back to tabletop. At a light spread of your fingers, tug your toes and push back to downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent if your hamstrings are feeling tight. Focus more on lengthening your spine, creating space between your vertebrae. Keep your neck relaxed. If you like, you can pedal it out, 
Bend one knee at a time, pressing your heels down into your mat. And then find stillness. Inhale and roll through to high plank. And then exhale, lower your knees down and find your tabletop. Firm your core. Inhale and extend your left leg behind you. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step your foot between your hands, stack your knee over your ankle, and then inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Low lunge on Janayasana. On your next exhale, plant your hands back down and step back to tabletop. And then push back to downward facing dog. You can either walk it out on the spot again or you can remain still. Use your exhales to release tension from your hamstrings and calves. Take lots of little steps as you walk your feet to the top of your mat. Bring your feet hips distance apart, bend into your knees and take opposite elbow in opposite hand. Let your upper body hang heavy. Maybe add a gentle sway from side to side if that feels good. and then slowly roll your way up to standing. Inhale, reach up to the sky, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale and reach back up. Grab hold of your left wrist with your right hand and then exhale, lean over to your right. Gaze up past your tricep. Inhale as you rise back up, take opposite wrist in opposite hand and then exhale lean over to your left, gaze up. Inhale return to centre, reach up tall, exhale hands to heart. Find your Tadasana. Bring your big toes to touch, heels are slightly apart. Relax your arms by your sides with your palms facing forward. Stand tall and bring your awareness to your breath. We're going to take a couple of rounds of sun salutation, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, fold forwards from your hips, Uttanasana. Bend your knees if needed. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat back. Exhale, plant your hands and step back to plank. Lower down to your knees, chest, chin. Inhale for cobra, keep your elbows bent and tucked in. Exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Hold here for four breaths. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees and look up. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardu Tanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing, reach up tall. Exhale, hands to heart. And again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands and step back to plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale for upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep your awareness on your breath. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees and look up. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing, reach up tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Keep your hands here in Anjali Mudra. Shift your weight into your left foot. Raise your right knee and cross the outside of your right ankle just above your left knee for standing pigeon. Bend deeply into your left leg until you can feel a stretch. Slowly rise back up and then transition straight into warrior three. Extend your right leg behind you as you pivot your upper body forward. Keep your hips parallel to your mat Think about creating a straight line from the crown of your head to the sole of your foot. And then slowly rise back up, plan your right foot back down. On an inhale, bend your knees, sink your hips down and reach your arms up to the sky, Utkatasana, chair pose. On your next exhale, fold forward for Uttanasana. Reach your fingertips down to your mat and then add a generous bend to your knees. Shift your weight into your left foot and take a big step back with your right for warrior two. Pivot your back foot towards parallel with the short side of your mat. Root down firmly through the outer blade. Front knee stacks over your ankle. Extend your arms out wide and gaze over your fingertips. Inhale, extend your left leg, rotate your arms so your palms are facing out. And then exhale, reach your left fingertips down to your mat. Or you can rest your hand on your shin. Right fingertips reach up, lift your gaze. On your next inhale, return to your warrior two, flip your front palm, and then exhale, lean back into peaceful warrior. Right hand can rest on your back thigh, left hand reaches up and back. On your next exhale, come through warrior two, and then windmill your hands all the way down to your mat. Step back to plank and take chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take four breaths here. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees and look up. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Shift your weight into your right foot. Raise your left knee and then cross the outside of your left ankle just above your right knee. Sink down into your standing pigeon. Focus on the drishti point in front of you.
slowly rise back up, and then find warrior three. Extend your left leg behind you and pivot your upper body forward, creating a T-shape with your body. And then slowly rise back up, plant your left foot back down. On an inhale, bend your knees, sink your hips down and reach your arms up, Utkatasana. On your next exhale, fold forward for your Uttanasana. Reach your fingertips down to your mat, and then add a generous bend to your knees. Shift your weight into your right foot and take a big step back with your left for Virabhadrasana 2. Pivot your back foot towards parallel with the short side of your mat. Root down through the outer blade, front knee stacks over your ankle, arms are extended wide. Inhale as you extend your right leg, rotate your arms so your palms are facing out, and then exhale, reach your right fingertips down to your mat, or you can rest your hand on your shin. Left arm reaches up, lift your gaze. On your next inhale, return to your warrior two. Flip your front palm and then exhale, lean back into peaceful warrior. Left hand can rest on your back thigh. Right hand reaches up and back. On your next exhale, come through warrior two and then windmill your hands all the way down to your mat. Step back to plank and take a vinyasa. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. On your next inhale, roll through to high plank. Keep everything engaged. We're going to hold here for a few breaths. down to your knees and then sink your hips back towards your heels for child's pose. Arms are extended, rest your forehead down, bring your awareness back to your breath. Slowly make your way back up to seated and then make your way to the center of your mat with your legs extended out in front of you and your feet flexed. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward from your hips. You can add as much bend to your knees as you like and you can grab hold of your feet ankles, shins, or wherever's comfortable.
On your next inhale, slowly rise back up to seated. Place your hands just behind your hips with your fingers pointing forward. Bend your knees and plant the soles of your feet down. Inhale as you lift up into reverse tabletop, opening up the chest and shoulders. Exhale and lower all the way back down. Let's find butterfly. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. Let your knees fall away from one another towards the ground. Begin by placing your hands behind you, leaning back and opening the front of your body. You can either stay here or on your next exhale, walk your hands forward and fold. You can either grab hold of your feet or reach towards the top of your mat. On your next inhale, rise back up. And then let's come into reverse tabletop again as a counter pose. Place your hands just behind your hips, plant your feet down. Inhale, lift your pelvis up. And then exhale, lower back down with control. Place your hands behind your knees and on an exhale, lower all the way down to your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Maybe add a gentle rock from side to side. And then cross your right knee over your left. Option for full eagle legs by wrapping your right foot behind your left heel. Inhale through your nose and then exhale, use your left hand to guide your knees across your body and over to your left. Extend your right arm out wide and gaze over your fingertips. Feel free to close your eyes here. Slowly return to center and then switch the cross of your legs. Left knee crosses over the right, option to wrap your left foot around the back of your right heel. Inhale and exhale. Use your right hand to guide your knees down towards your mat. Left arm extends out wide, gaze over your left fingertips. Take your time as you make your way back to centre and untwist. And then bend both knees, flex your feet, and you can either grab hold of the outer blades of your feet, your ankles, or you can grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Gently draw your knees down towards your mat. There's also the option to add a gentle rock again if that feels nice for your lower back. And then extend your arms and legs out long. 
palms are facing up, coming into Shavasana. Take up space and close your eyes. Let your mind be still. Soften your face and clench your jaw and relax your entire body from the crown of your head all the way to the tips of your toes. Sink deeper and deeper into your mat and into this state of relaxation. Slowly begin to bring your awareness back to your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe stretch out long or curl up small. And then make your way over to one side. Pause here for a moment. And then push your way up to any comfortable seated position. You can blink your eyes open. Inhale, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in my next video. For more classes like this one, please like and subscribe.